What's up my little unicorns, new and old, it's West Indie Ray back again with another video. Now today I hope it's going to be a pretty short video. It's just really something that happened to me that I want to share with you guys um, about like pitfalls when manifesting. It's just kind of like a short story of mine about why it's so important to be very specific when you manifest. I have a video about manifestation that I'll link in the description box below and right up here that's supposedly been changing people's lives so I definitely suggest that you go view that video. I also have another one about my manifestation story, how I manifested a job using the law of attraction that I love that's so dear to my heart and I will leave that as well in the description box. I have a video about waist speeds that if you guys like waist speeds you probably should go check out. And then the video that I just did was about why I quit being a flight attendant and how that job was really hurting me spiritually and how some of your jobs may be hurting you spiritually which may be signs that you should manifest something else and move on. So basically just all the ways to confirm that it is time for you to quit your job. I'll leave all of that in the description box below like I said but dude today I want to tell you guys about something that I actually warned you about in my original manifestation video. If I recall correctly I explained to each of you that it is very important to be specific about your manifestation. Because for instance, if we say, oh, I want a man, I want a man, I want a man, and then any Tom, Dick, and Harry comes through your door like, here I am, we can't be surprised because we didn't speak about or speak into what type of man we wanted. We didn't say he has to be sweet and compassionate and kind or any of that stuff. It's so important so 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 important to be completely aware of what it is that you're asking for and because you guys love me and i know that i can trust you with my heart and my secrets i'm going to tell you about my own personal story on how i knew that i needed to be more specific about the things that i was manifesting and i must say if i had any other type of attitude about life i probably would be pretty embarrassed by admitting to you guys this newbie mistake that i made while manifesting but because i'm me and i understand that life is a journey and we're all getting through this together really and i'd rather me go through it one time rather than all of us having to go through it one time i figured i'd just go ahead and tell you guys about my stupid mistake and get it over with and maybe save you some trouble this actually happened to me recently recently as in this week and you guys love the real so i'm gonna give you the real even though it might be embarrassing or it might look bad or whatever you guys know that i love you and i'm genuine about this stuff so here it goes. I didn't talk about this in my first manifestation story that I will link in the description box below that you should go watch because it hadn't really happened yet. When I got that job, I was really excited because I was able to get my foot in the door with a career path that I really, really wanted to be on. And I'm still working there and I'm really, really happy about it. I love the people who work there. Everything worked out exactly as I wrote it down on that piece of paper that I read from this book to you guys. Everything worked out exactly that same way. So there are literally no problems there. But what I want to talk to you about is something that I wrote down before that. So for months, I had been telling my friends and family that I was going to quit my job on May 17th, right? I kept telling them I was gonna quit it on May 17th. I knew that that was the date. For some reason, it was just in my heart and soul to quit my job on May 17th. And I just knew that it was gonna happen that day. So I had been saying it and I wrote in my handy dandy manifestation book, I am still leaving my job on May 17th, 2019. I will be in a happy place then as I am now and improved. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, I will be moving to the next step as I am right now. Okay, so the reason why I'm talking like that is because I like to put things out and then speak it into my current situation as if I'm really going through it at the moment because it kind of gets me in the correct headspace for manifestation. I think I talk about that in the other videos that I'll link in the description box below. Go check that out. Also subscribe because that's important too and click the bell so that you can see my updates or what, whatever it is. Just follow me. Follow me on Instagram. Okay, anyways, so I was like, I'm excited. I will continue to be, great things are on their way. I will continue to be provided for. Thank you for this. Please keep safety, health, and happiness. Things are amazing. Dreams are coming true. I'm getting a new job. I have a new job. It is revealing itself to me. I am leaving blank for good on good terms. My new job is coming to me. Okay, my new job is coming to be in my conscious swiftly and clearly 
I'm happy at work. I'm punctual. I'm valued. I'm creative. I'm. I have time to dream and produce. Thank you for listening to my. This is a hard one. I don't know. These thoughts of good things are reality. Thank you. And at the end, I wrote, thank you forever grateful. So anyways, let's go through this and comb through this a little bit. Hopefully it won't take any more than a few minutes. All of this is true, okay? All of this happened. I was empowered to quit my job on May 17th, 2019. I did do that. I sent in my resignation letter on that day. I wanted to have two jobs before I quit my flight attendant job. I got a call on May 17th and it was weird because I was sitting in bed and I was like, I wonder if the job that I interviewed for is gonna call me today. And in my head, another voice was like, of course they're gonna call you today because it's May 17th. So I was like, bet. They called me like three hours later, offered me the position. I took it, it empowered me to quit my flight attendant job, and then I moved on with my life. And I was happy, just as I'm happy right now. I don't know, you guys could probably feel the great energy that I'm giving to the camera because I'm truly, truly happy, right? So I was just like, you know, I'll go ahead and do that thing. It'll be great. Mind you, I'm saying I'm happy at work and stuff like that. I am happy at work at my job that I have right now, the job of my dreams, all that stuff. I was saying that I'm able to dream and produce and be punctual and be creative and stuff. I have all of that in my real life and at my job, right? I have all of this stuff that I mentioned that I listed out here, I have all of it. And one of my main goals was to get some of the things that I want off the ground, off of the ground, okay? To be empowered to like, you know, really take control of my life and get this business stuff that I'm trying to start going, right? And I will give you guys the details to that whenever it comes up, but I read something that said that when you talk about your plans, it releases a similar endorphin or the same endorphin in your brain as when you've actually accomplished something. So sometimes talking about it too much to other people, it'll give you like a sense of pride in a way that makes you feel like you've already completed it so you don't go as hard. So that's why I'm kind of keeping it under wraps for now because I want it to be something beautiful and amazing that is going to have longevity. So whatever it is that I'm gonna do, I want it to be genuine, authentic as can be. I want it to be forever lasting something that I can pass down to my children and something that you guys can pass down to your children as well if you know what I mean. You don't know what I mean, but you will know what I mean. Anyways, so all this stuff is happening, but I failed to go into detail about the specific job that I was going to have. Really, my manifestations did come true, but I just want you guys to keep in mind that when I talk about being more specific about them, I'm talking about the events surrounding May 17th and how that all went down. So this is the thing. Once I started working at the job that did empower me to quit my job as a flight attendant, I immediately hated it. I was like, I can't be here. A lot of it was just data entry. The people were super, super cool. The office was beautiful. They had a chef that came in and cooked every day. Like, it was lit, okay? I was like, wow. When I first walked in, I was like, this is amazing. And everybody was super nice. There was another black girl who works there and she's a Jamaican too. She's absolutely stunning. And I was so, so happy because she was one of the girls who was training me. And I was like, this is lit. She even followed my YouTube and stuff like that. Like, she was like, I recognize you from somewhere and it was because of my YouTube and that just made me feel so good. So I really, really, really wish that there wasn't something inside of me that told me that I could not be there. But it just wasn't for me. It like was stifling me creatively. It wouldn't give me enough time to do any of the things that I want to do as far as my personal goals and plans. It wouldn't give me enough time to work out my other job that I love so, so dearly. It was just a lot. And on the third day of work, I had spoken to my parents about you know, leaving that position before I got in too deep and became an integral part of their operation because then it would kind of screw them over because they've spent all this time and money training me and then I don't even want to be there and I felt like it wouldn't be fair to the company nor would it be fair to myself for me to do that because I'm really big about mutually beneficial relationships when it comes to employees and employers and I think that it's a really weird stigma with society but there's like this huge stigma that if you get a job you need to keep it and ride it out when to me it's like for what like why should i do something that i hate i spoke about that in my last video about why i quit being a flight attendant why should i do this and i'm really not enjoying myself and i'm really not my best self when i'm here like i'm tired my eyes hurt i feel like i don't have time to do the things that i want i feel like i can't 
work out and have time to go to the gym and work on my extra stuff like why should I be here if I feel that way so I just knew that it wasn't for me and I because I have moxie and I'm a ballsy person I got my stuff I went straight into the owner's office and I was like hey like I really appreciate the opportunity but I'm just gonna be forthcoming and honest with you as I would like for people to be with me I don't think this is gonna work out and he was super cool about it like he was like oh I really felt like you would be a great fit but you know I understand why we're looking for people who want to have a career in this and if you feel like that's not for you then I completely get it because it's not for everybody and we just had like a really cool chill conversation he printed me out a check for the couple days that I was there and sent me on my way and it happened so swiftly and I was still able to maintain all of the feelings of excitement and happiness in being a dreamer that I did that I wrote about and I was just like wow it's crazy how this is the most free that I've ever felt in my life I feel like I have the ability to focus on the things that I really want to focus on and that one of those things being the job that I knew I wouldn't have time for unless I went to work seven days a week and nights and days and all that stuff that would completely exhaust and burn me out. I also wouldn't have time for YouTube and to harness my light and try to show it to you guys because literally I there was literally no time in my day to do that. So that just goes to show that you need to be super super specific very very thorough <laughs> in the things that you ask for so if you ask for good things you're definitely gonna get them but what terms you know what I'm saying on what terms I could have probably put something in there about being completely happy at the new position like all the positions but I mean I guess at that time I don't even know if I knew I was going to no I didn't even know at that time that I was gonna get the position that I'm in love with so I think I was just looking for one single job at this time yeah so I mean I guess I didn't know to write that but it just goes to show how specific you need to be in your manifestation practices so if you guys want to see my manifestation practices make sure you go in the description box below and click the first video that I'm going to have linked down there if you have not already if you guys want to see more like manifestation things or if you have a manifestation story please write it in my comment section because I want to hear from you guys I reply to every comment or at least I try to if one or two I miss I'm so 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 sorry and hopefully I'll see it soon one day when I'm going through and combing through and making sure that I am replying to you guys because I really value the relationships that I make on here although they are virtual and that's kind of weird but I do value you guys and I love you guys so much the fact that you go out of your way to follow me on Instagram contact me on Instagram or in my comment section and just just tell me that I've meant something to you or that my videos impacted you that means everything to me so if you will go ahead and drop a unicorn in the comment section below if you made it to the end of this video just let me know that you're watching and you're engaging and that you love me and that you are a little unicorn you guys know that you make my heart float so I hope you liked the video make sure you like subscribe comment and share follow all my social media accounts right down there and I will see you in the next one Peace.